If you've ever had the misfortune of discovering an uninvited guest's final resting place in your home, you know that nothing quite compares to the olfactory assault of a dead animal. No need to panic. We're here to guide you on how to get rid of dead animal smell with our trusty tips and tricks. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of that awful smell. Get rid of it! Locate the dead animal. First, you'll have to follow the smell. The stronger the odor, the closer you are to the dead animal. Take your time and walk around your home, sniffing out the area where the smell is most potent. Remember to be patient, as it might take some time to pinpoint the exact location. Next, keep an eye out for flies or maggots, as they're often attracted to decomposing animals. If you notice an unusual number of flies or maggots in a specific area, it's a good indication that the dead animal is nearby. Now, let's talk about some common hiding spots where animals may have crawled before dying. These are the places you should investigate thoroughly. Walls Animals like rodents can get into your walls through tiny openings. Check for any holes or cracks in the walls that may have allowed them to enter. Attic Many animals, especially rodents and birds, find their way into attics. Inspect your attic for signs of animal activity, like droppings, nests, or chewed wires. Use a flashlight to help you see better in dark corners and hidden spaces. Crawl spaces. Crawl spaces are another popular hiding spot for animals. Put on some protective clothing, grab a flashlight, and carefully inspect your crawl space for any signs of the dead animal, such as the smell, flies, or remains. Basements. Basements can be damp and dark, making them an attractive location for animals seeking shelter. Check your basement for any signs of animal entry, like holes or gaps. Look for any unusual stains, odors, or fly activity that might indicate the presence of a dead animal. Remove the dead animal. Now that you've located the dead animal, let's discuss how to remove it safely and properly. It's essential to follow certain precautions to protect yourself from potential health risks and to dispose of the animal responsibly. First, before you even touch the dead animal, make sure to wear protective gear. This includes gloves, a face mask, and goggles. You'll need to wear these items all through the process of getting rid of the smell. Once you're geared up, it's time to remove the animal. Use your gloved hand or a tool like a pair of tongs to gently pick up the dead animal. Then, place it in a heavy-duty plastic bag or a sealable plastic container. The idea is to avoid direct contact with the dead animal and to contain the smell and any contaminants. Try to avoid any sudden movements that might cause the animal to rupture or release more odors. Once the animal is inside, seal the bag or container tightly to prevent any smell or contaminants from escaping. If you're using a plastic bag, it's a good idea to double bag it for extra security. Now that you've safely removed the dead animal, it's time to dispose of it according to local regulations. Each area may have different rules and guidelines for dead animal disposal. So, it's essential to check with your local waste management or animal control department. Some common disposal methods include Placing the sealed bag or container in your regular trash, if allowed by local regulations. Bringing the dead animal to a designated disposal site or facility. Burying the animal on your property, if allowed and done in a manner that complies with local regulations. Clean the affected area. It's advisable to get rid of any materials that have come into contact with the dead animal, such as insulation, carpet, or fabric. This is important to prevent the spread of bacteria and to ensure that any lingering smells are eliminated. However, if you cannot get rid of such materials, you need to clean them thoroughly. To clean the affected area as well as the affected materials, you can use enzyme-based cleaners. These cleaners are specially designed to break down organic matter such as proteins, fats, and oils commonly found in animal remains. These cleaners are great at eliminating odors and removing stains. When purchasing an enzyme-based cleaner, ensure that it is suitable for the surface or material you want to clean. Furthermore, ensure that you follow the instructions on the product label for the best results. After applying the enzyme-based cleaner, use a scrub brush or a cloth to scrub the affected area vigorously. 
This will help remove any remaining organic material and stains. Once you've scrubbed the area, rinse it with water to remove any residue from the cleaner. To kill any lingering bacteria or germs, apply a disinfectant to the cleaned area. You can use a commercial disinfectant, or you can make your own by mixing equal parts white vinegar and water. Be sure to follow the instructions on the disinfectant label and allow the solution to sit on the surface for the recommended amount of time before wiping it away. Air out the space. Open as many doors and windows as possible in the affected area. This will allow fresh air to flow in and help dissipate any lingering odors. If weather permits, it's a good idea to keep the doors and windows open for several hours or even a full day to let the space breathe and improve air quality. To speed up the process, place one or more fans in the area. You can use box fans, oscillating fans, or even your ceiling fan if you have one. Position the fans in a way that they draw fresh air into the space and push out the stale, smelly air. This will create better air circulation, making it easier for the odors to dissipate. An air purifier can be an effective tool for removing lingering odors and improving indoor air quality. Purchase an air purifier with an activated carbon filter, as these filters are specifically designed to trap and neutralize odors. Place the air purifier in the affected area and let it run continuously for a few days or until the smell is gone. Use odor neutralizers. If you've aired out the space but still notice some lingering odors, using odor neutralizers can help eliminate those stubborn smells. Here are some common odor neutralizers you can try, along with instructions on how to use them effectively. Activated Charcoal Activated charcoal is excellent for absorbing and neutralizing odors. You can find activated charcoal in various forms, such as bags or pouches designed specifically for odor elimination. To use activated charcoal, simply place it in the affected area and leave it for a few days. The charcoal will absorb the odor, and you'll notice a significant improvement in the smell. Baking Soda Baking soda is a common household item that works wonders for absorbing odors. To use baking soda, simply sprinkle it on the affected surfaces, such as carpets or upholstery, and let it sit for a few hours or overnight. Afterward, vacuum up the baking soda, and the odor should be noticeably reduced. For tougher odors, you can create a paste by mixing baking soda with water. Then, apply it to the area and let it sit for at least one hour. After it has sat for a while, use a clean damp cloth to wipe off the paste. Finally, dry the affected area with a clean dry cloth or allow it to air dry. White Vinegar White vinegar is another household item that can help neutralize odors. To use white vinegar, fill a spray bottle with undiluted vinegar and lightly mist the affected area. Allow the vinegar to air dry and the smell should dissipate. For stronger odors, you can also try placing a bowl of white vinegar in the room for a day or two to absorb the smell. Odor Removing Sprays or Foggers There are various commercial odor removing sprays and foggers available that can help eliminate stubborn smells. These products usually contain ingredients that neutralize or mask odors, making your space smell fresh again. Follow the instructions on the product label for the best results. After using the odor neutralizers, let the area air dry. Furthermore, don't forget to replace any materials you removed when cleaning the affected area. Prevent future issues. The first step in preventing future issues is to make sure animals can't get into your home in the first place. Inspect your home's exterior for any cracks, gaps, or holes that animals could use as entry points. Pay special attention to areas around windows, doors, vents, and pipes. Use caulk, steel wool, or other appropriate materials to seal up these potential entry points. For larger gaps, you might consider using expandable foam or wire mesh. Keeping your home clean can help deter pests by removing potential food sources and nesting materials. Regularly clean your kitchen, pantry, and other areas where food is stored. Keep food in sealed containers, promptly clean up spills and crumbs, and take out the trash regularly. In addition, make sure to clean up any clutter, such as piles of paper or cardboard, which can provide hiding spots for pests. There are various pest control measures you can use to keep unwanted animals at bay. Some options include Traps 
Set up traps in areas where you've noticed signs of pest activity. Snap traps, blue traps, or live traps can be used to catch rodents, while sticky traps or pheromone traps can be used for insects. Pest repellents. There are several pest repellents available, such as ultrasonic devices, sprays, or granules that can help keep pests away. If you're dealing with a persistent or severe infestation, it might be time to call in a professional pest control service. They can help identify the source of the problem, recommend appropriate treatments, and provide ongoing support to ensure your home stays pest-free. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.